think I'm funny, well, I'm going to try to keep it clean, so if you don't think I'm funny, you can just go out later and do something in time for the hospital yourself. Um, <laughs> Alright, so, I'm kind of having a, not the best day. I've really only got one pet peeve in life, however, it's something that's everywhere. Stupid people. <laughs> Just in my own experience, I've come to the conclusion that probably around 80% of people are stupid. I mean, it's, it's definitely a problem. I mean, these are the, the kind of people I'm talking about are the people that, when they go to exit a building, instead of following the exit signs, they ask every single person they come across, can you tell me where the exit is? <laughs> See, my opinion with any problem, you know, the first step is realization and acceptance. That's the only way you're going to get better. So if someone asks me, I don't tell them where the exit is, I point them to a sign and they say, oh, sorry, thanks, didn't see that. I'm hoping that's going to drop a thought in the head that maybe I'm a moron. I didn't notice that sign. <laughs> see, I used to work at a clothing shop out in San Ramos, and uh, you, it seemed like they would drop stupid people off every morning by the bus. <laughs> I mean, we would have a sign on our door, no food or drink allowed, and yet it seems like every other person comes in Care of their Kilwins and their Ben and Jerry's. Oh, hey, that sign just doesn't apply to me. You know, for the sake of cleaning out the gene pool, I wish that they would apply that logic to other situations, like getting off the interstate. Red light? Well, obviously that doesn't apply to me. You also get people in. You think, you know, St. Armand's a little more upscale. People are willing to, to spend a few bucks. But, you know, we do have, you know, the sales section, the section with, you know, damaged clothing, with problems, you know, we got from the manufacturer, maybe a logo's crooked, maybe there's a random brown streak down the back. But, but one time, we had one t-shirt. The defect on the shirt was, and it even said right on the label, like, unusually wide. And do you have any ideas like, the proportions here? Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to run into that. Picture, like, a guitar, like a box that would, you know, a guitar could fit inside. Turn it sideways. <laughs> that, that, those are the proportions of this t-shirt. The thing that surprised me the most, some mom, apparently, it was a children's t-shirt, bought this for her kid. And I'm thinking, like, I mean, just the way it was shaped, you'd think it would be like a little gremlin that escaped from Pandora's box. Or <laughs> but I can't feel too bad for the kid, he's set. By the time he gets, you know, high school, is graduating, all you have to do is like turn him sideways, stick him in the NBA, and he'll fit right in. He's got the height. I mean, yeah, they might have to roll him around like the blueberry girl from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. But at least he's going to be making bank. I mean, you also get people coming in that want discounts because oh, I'm buying. You know, they're buying a lot of stuff. I had one woman one time she spent twelve bucks on two, two kids' T-shirts that were on sale, and she asked, "Can I have a discount since I'm buying so much?" Huh, huh. I to, I'm just thinking, yes, I can, but I said to her, no, I won't. I mean, just again. Apply that logic here. You come here, get two PBR tall boys, ask Don for a discount. <laughs> See how well that will go over. She will laugh her ass off as well she should. <laughs> so my friends and I, we, you know, we, people try to do things to escape from the insanity of the stupid people. You know, some people are athletes, they play things, you know, baseball, basketball, soccer, golf. My friends and I, we play disc golf because we're not athletes. <laughs> so deal with that, you know, when you, when you think of golf just in general, golf courses are nice, you know, rich people golf, You've got golf courses throughout all the nice places in the country. Disc golf, being golf's little red-headed step stepchild, didn't really get that privilege. There are two disc golf courses in Sarasota. One, behind Lake Sarasota, which is basically a plot of uninhabitable, um, uninhabitable swamp land that they can't build houses on, so they figured, oh, we'll build a disc golf course. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, the other one is down by the airport, just down the street from the dog track, a part of town where uh, you run into some people out there. Let's just say it's the kind of people that are climbing to your windows, snatching your people up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if I want to play disc golf, I either have to, uh, have to go somewhere and throw my disc in the water, and I have to go in and get attacked by leeches and possibly contract hepatitis. <laughs> Or, I'm going to go somewhere where, as the sun sets, my fear for my own life rises. <laughs> so, you think there's one place to escape from stupid people, especially when it comes to shopping? The internet. Online shopping, just avoid the people altogether. You think so, but no. You guys have probably noticed recently Google's been doing this thing. As you type in search results, not only does it give you suggestions, it brings up results in real time. And it seems like a good idea until you see some of the crazy crap that people are searching for. Okay, you type in something, you know, simple, like, like, let's start, how can I? Just that simple phrase. I was on here earlier today, here's what I found. How can I? The top result, how can I help with the oil spill? Okay, but to me, that's great. 
it's, it's a problem. It's good that people are, are thinking about helping and want to help. And then you get people searching, how can I? You get stuff like, you want to do this, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I suck. I'm going to kill myself now. <laughs> how, how do I make money? Now here's the thing, unless you're at the library, you were either you know, on your computer at home, on the internet, or on a phone, whatever you did to get the money to get that computer and the internet and your phone, keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> or worst case scenario, get a job. Not that complicated. You also got people searching for stuff like, you know, when will, is another example. When will the world end? Okay, well, Google probably can't help you out with that, but at least it's, it's good that you're thinking about it. It's very deep, existential. You also get, when will I die? Okay, not so much. The next line of deep questions, when will Verizon get the iPhone? <laughs> Save yourself the trouble, get an Android to go to AT&T. Stop asking Google and messing with my search results, please. <laughs> You also get stuff like, okay, let's go with where can I find is another good one. You get people that are internet savvy, so you get the top results, you know, where can I find my IP address, where can I find cookies on my computer. Okay, that makes sense. People, you know, they want to find their IP address, they want to clean up their cookies, improve the browser performance, all that crap. And then you get these morons that search for where can I find Chuck Norris. <laughs> Which is the stupidest thing of all, because as everyone knows, you don't find Chuck Norris. He, he finds, finds you. you. <laughs> and then you round cat, roundhouse kicks you in the back of the head for typing something so stupid. <laughs> Thanks, guys. You're great. Enjoy the rest of the show.